Hi! How about making a cozy couch sweater? It's lovely. It's lovely to have on a couch, sit there, have your blanket on you, have your sleeves on the blanket so your arms won't get cold when you grab your drink or your uh, remote control or whatever. I'm going to show you a little uh, swatch of how to do the stitches that I use on the cozy couch sweater. It's a really nice uh, structure and there's only a few stitches that I use so it's not that complicated and uh, it's a lot of fun to make. So what I did is for the swatch I made a uh, 22 uh, chain because what you need to have for the cozy couch sweater is a chain that is dividable by three plus two for the uh, side of the half double crochets plus two of the other side and plus three for your uh, extra chains on the uh, extra stitches on the chain I hope that makes sense so you go I have here 22 so that will be 15 because that's dividable by three plus two plus two plus three so 15 plus seven is 22 and I have 22 right here I start my first half double crochet in the third stitch from the hook and all I do is continue the half double crochets to the end of the row now we all can do that also I make my uh, cozy couch sweater with double strands you can make it in bulky if you want but bulky is pretty expensive there is a lot of yarn that goes in this uh, project so I recommend to use a budget yarn and then go with double strands it has the same nice structure the same nice look and it won't rob your wallet now people have asked me can you use it with one strand sure you can make it with one strand no problem but then you're going to need more because you still need to make the length of the person that you're making it for. And um, you still need to make it wider than two. So it really won't make that much of a difference in the purchase of your yarn. So if you want to have the nice big structure uh, look of it, I would go double strands. But that's me. Okay. While I was just talking away... We have reached the end of our first row of 22 stitches, all in just half double crochet. There we go. Now, if you were making it for a six foot tall person, you would probably need about a uh, hundred and whatever. Let me see, 133 or maybe even more than that because you need to be able to divide it by three, like I said, plus two, plus two, plus three. Okay, now, that was our first row. Now we're going to turn, chain one, turn, and we make a half double crochet in the very first stitch. That's one. And we make another half double crochet in the next stitch. Now, every uh, row that I make with the cross big puff stitches that I'm going to show you in a second, always start with two and uh, start with two half double crochets at the beginning and end with two half double crochets at the end. Now, we've made our first two half double crochets. We skip this one and we go for the next two half double crochets. That's one. And here we go for number two. Now, here's a gap, yarn over, go in the gap, pull up, yarn over, go in the gap, pull up. You need to pull up a little bit or else it, won't, it will be too tight. You skip this one right here. You make two half double crochets. That's one. And that's two. Again, you have your gap right here. So you go back in there, pull up, yarn over in the gap, pull up, yarn over and pull through all your loops. 
So now you have made two big puffs. Skip one. Two do half double crochets. That's one. And that's two. And we go back into the gap. Pull up. Yarn over. Stick it in. Pull up. Yarn over. Pull through. We skip this one right here. And you guessed it. We're going to make two half double crochets. And back into the space right behind it. You make your big puff. Skip this one. That's one. That's two. So we're almost at the end of the row. We've got our last big cross big puff stitch. We skip this one right here, which means we have two stitches left at the end of the row, which is perfect because we want these two half double crochets to end the row. And that gives us two right here, two half double crochets. Oh, you can see it. Two half double crochets right there. One, two, three, four, five big uh, puffs. And right here, we've got our last half double crochets. So we go to the next row. And in the next row, we're going to do the cross big puff stitch. Okay. Now, be careful. Because this is where a lot of people go wrong. We've turned. We need two half double crochets with a skip one. And then we go to the next two right here. But we don't have that space, right? Or we don't have that room. So what I do is I go back right here into the chain one. Just make it in the chain. I make my half double crochet. Then I make my half double crochet right next to it. Then I skip the one that I'm supposed to skip. So I will be right in count. Otherwise, you'll be starting to go crooked. Some people can't figure it out. This is why I'm showing you right now. You just do your first half double crochet in the chain. Now, you cross over, so you need to go underneath this one, underneath it, and you make your next, pull it up, big puff stitch. Pull it up. Am I still in the, yep, there we go. You've made it. Skip this right here. You make two half double crochets on top of the big puff that you made in your previous row. And now you go cross again. So you go under it. There you go, in the gap right there. One. And there you go, two. Pull it up. Okay, you've made two. You skip this one right here. You go on top of the big puff from the previous row, like so, your two half double crochets. Now I've seen some people that are going back into here, like they did on this row, but you're not going to. You want to cross it, so you go back under the big one from the previous row. Otherwise you won't get it crossed. I need some more yarn. There you've got your cross and they also look like little hearts. You skip this one. On top of the big puff, you do your two half double crochets. You go under it to cross it. You skip this one. Oh, 
under it. Under it. And you skip one. And there they are, the last two half double crochets. Okay, so you have made your first row of the cross big puff stitches. Now, you chain one, you turn, and you're going to make a half double crochet on all the stitches. Half double crochet, half double crochet on all the stitches. Now you chain one and turn, and remember. We don't want to be short a stitch. So right here, you make your first half double crochet in the chain. Then you make your half double crochet where it's supposed to be. Then you make your half double crochet in the, what's supposed to be the skip one, but now you're going in all the spaces and all the stitches, you're making a, a half double crochet. Then you're getting to the half double crochets on top of the big puff stitch. And you continue on the entire row just like this. Half double crochets all the way across the row. Don't forget the ones in the middle between the big puff stitches. And don't forget the two on top of the big puff stitches. So you've got one in between right here. And you have two on top. One two right here and here's the one in between the two puff stitches so there you go and then you have the one on top one and two here you've got the skipped one in between and then you do your last two like so okay now, for the next row, you turn one, of, uh, you, you chain one, you turn, and in this very same space right here, you do a back loop only double crochet. Now, we want to get that nice structure, so this is what we're working on. And all the stitches across, you're going to do a double crochet back loop only, your back loop only. Don't forget, you have a double thread double yarn so don't pick up just one but pick them both up double crochet back loop only double crochet back loop only double crochet and you do this till the end of the row okay we've gotten to the end of the row and uh, what we do now for the next row is we turn and we chain one and turn and we do exactly the same as we just did for the row previous to this one. So we're making again the double crochet back loop only in all your stitches. Double crochet back loop only. Double crochet back loop only. And double crochet back loop only all the way to the end of the row. And you will start to see that you will get a very nice and structure. I'll see you at the end of the row. So here we are at the end of the row. We've done uh, the big puff cross, big puff stitches with our row of half double crochets on all of them. Then we did the half, uh, the double crochet back loop only, another row of double crochet back loop only. Now we're going to do chain one and turn. And we're going to do a half double crochet back loop only. 
So you see, it's not that many different stitches that we're doing to get this pretty look. Half double crochet, back loop only. And we're just gonna do this all the way to the end of this row as well. And when we get to the end of the row, we'll go on to the next set of crossed big puff stitches. And I'm gonna show you one more time how to do that. And I think then we'll be done with this little tutorial. So I'll see you at the point where we turn and start going for the cross big puff stitches again. Okay, half, uh, half double crochets, end of the row, half double crochets, back loop only, I'm supposed to say. Okay, end of the row, we chain one and we turn. And now we're going to go for our, uh, oops, for our first row of the big puff stitches. So this is your first half double crochet. Remember, we want two half double crochets at the beginning of the row. So there is our two. We skip this one right here. And we go for the next two stitches in half double crochets. There you go. And you go back into this space right here make sure you pull up or they'll get too tight pull up you skip one again you go to the next two stitches and you make them in half double crochets and back up pull up and another big puff skip this one right here two half double crochets that's one and that's two you're gonna make a lot of people so happy with this nice little cozy couch sweater i've seen so many nice ones coming about uh, along Really nice one. Some people made them in scrap yarn as well. Those look really cute too. And I've seen them in different colors. Old people, young people. Everybody likes them. It's really nice for the colder days on the couch. And I've seen even people that use them in stadiums when they go to see the football games. So, good thing. Okay, we're at the end. And what do we end with? We end with two half double crochets okay now this is the tricky part again we chain one we turn and in the chain we make our first half double crochet just so we'll stay in count with the stitches because now we have our two double half double crochets we can skip this one right here we can go on top of the big puff stitch to make the half double crochets and let me get some more yarn and we go under it pull up pull up and we continue to do this just like we did in the other row of the uh, big cross big puff stitches so i'll see you at the end of the row to show you one more time what we end up with so see you in a little bit okay at the end of the row we just finished making our last big cross big puff stitch we skip this one and we end the row in our two half double crochets like this and i'm going to show you one more time how we do it to keep in count with the stitches we chain one like this we turn and we make our first half double crochet right here in the chain one that we did like so okay so we can do our second half double crochet right here we can go on with our half double crochets all the way across like we did in the other row i'm gonna put it down so
so you can see how we have a nice straight edge you kept in count because you have your one two three four five big puff stitches like you had in the first row too and you have these nice little rigid structured looking um double crochets a back loop only in between and then right here you go on for and you go on and on and on like this till you have the width you have you want um it's made sideways so you turn it around and you just keep going till you have the width you want um of course this is a little swatch i would like for you to leave a comment in the box below if you think this video was useful if you understood it and uh, if you have problems understanding it or maybe you want to watch it again or maybe you need my advice for anything i have a facebook group it's called crochet done right and you can ask for advice there as well um i hope you liked it i hope you want to subscribe to my channel and invite your friends too if you want to and for now i'm wishing you a very happy day bye bye